You don't say the guy who was 10 years ago. Who's in your life? I guess I'm not either. But... Have you met Bob, Chris? Uh -huh. Craven? Yeah, I've met him a long time ago. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever been to the Chamber of Life? This month here in Lake Stevens. Oh, wow. yeah, he's just trying to get over the last week. He doesn't really do any work over here too much. You know, you can go over and take it out for lunch. Yeah, it's not good with. Yeah, uh, free, free lunch. Yeah. 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 Thanks, Jack. My mother there. Who's auctioned it off at this? And I know we played it. It ain't for money, right? It's a five hundred dollar jacket. A lot of people. small for me. Yeah, maybe a little small for me to say a large one. I'm to hear ourselves and buy a new distance. It's not great. Which one is it that you get over there, Ron? What's that? Biscuit and beans. Uh, the lumber. Oh, the lumberjack, yeah. That's a manly yeah. meal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, I really work on the morning. I think it was that first day. Why is the camera not working? We used to go to this place called the River's Edge. I, you know, down by where the Oxford was there. The Snohomish? Yeah, Snohomish, yeah. And they had a great lumberjack with biscuits and gravy and their patties. Oh, you're going to do Gomer. I said, Gomer, the totem? Oh, I've been. Oh, the totem, yeah. Oh, God, you go over there and your breakfast is huge. This, you know, every once in a while, Bev looks over and says, no, we probably go Share that one. And we could. Yeah, my car club goes there every once in a while. It's a lot of cool event. That's the best part of Thursday. It's on the Cottage Cars and Hot Rods down in Redmond. It's a lunch there that the classic car insurance companies putting on. Oh, really? So it's like 160 products in there at least. Straight. You know, priorities and you know, whatever, right? So my team are not going to work too well there. You know, the other thing is, I don't like for Ryan Young's new car. Yeah, you were coming. Did I tell you about that? Yeah. So I believe that this is just freaking classic. So, so fine. So Young's got one of the first ones that came into the. Oh, yeah. I really own you said. Oh, uh, the one time I could say they sent me this picture. Yeah, who? Oh, wow. Okay, so now this car has got lasers and cameras. It will show you how close you are to the curb and the line. And, you know, and then you know, the park itself. Obviously, the lasers need to be adjusted. Oh, no, I don't know. It's no sense to do it. You know, it's like a good sense to um, but I thought about it. I told God I did. I just had to hold myself back. Our investment club has stocks in Lucid. Yeah. Didn't we buy some stocks in Lucid? Yeah. Yeah. We did. John Larson has a Lucid. Oh, did he? I went for a ride in last week. Oh, that's it's that's crazy. Yeah, you everything you think of. So it's got it's got lasers all the way around it that measure. So you know it'll park itself, but it'll also show you where the lines are and the curves. And here I'll show you the two picture. Yeah, okay, so keep in mind that it'll park itself. Yeah, so Lucent, okay, so Lucent uh, has made a car. Yeah, I think that's what they said. Uh, uh, you know, rotary district. They, 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 they took on a, uh, a drag strip. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And 
Uh, they went against the uh, 16 cylinder Bugatti, which was the Dodge's gas car. Gas car. Yeah. And Tesla. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. And then the Ducati yeah. motorcycle. Wow. So, so this is the car. It looks, it looks like that. So, so you know, it works itself, right? That's the Right? Right? Anyway, so they do this, you know, this drag, and I think it's a quarter mile or whatever. So it defeats the Bugatti, um, it defeats the Happy Line. Why? And then there's a body motorcycle. Right? The guy takes off, Chris, you put up, and then tire, front tire, six inches off the ground, and I the body. All the way, way. So, so, oh my God. Right. The car beats that motorcycle. He's forgotten what he gave his word. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't yeah, a sixty-five, seventy-year-old yeah. car like that, right? Yeah. Now, what are you going to do? They are the these well, well, so, so, so you know, fifty-two percent of Lucid is owned by Saudi Arabians. Okay, and so Saudi Arabia has said that. I mean, you know, so your stock. Yeah, I bought some stock okay, too. Good. Okay, so so Saudi Arabia said that. Uh, well, okay, well we're. You know, we're invested in this. Let's build a plant here. And we're going to take 100,000 of the first cars to come out of that plant. We'll guarantee it. We're going to, you know, our whole our municipal fleet, you know, everything, right? You know, yeah, so, so I, you know, I'm thinking that, you know, I mean, looking at it, it looks like an undervalued stock. Yeah. You know, not, yeah. not that I'm a great stock guy or anything, right. but it just makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. yeah. Something like that in the game. I think when you think about the gas companies like Exxon and stuff like that, you know, I can hear in that you know, there's more oil in the ground than we should run out of for one thing. But that is pollution. And so they're kind of looking into other alternatives for energy and cars and like hydrogen and different kind of concepts like that. So I think well Gates' book says an electric car is is just the stop gap to the hydrogen. Yeah. So we, we will so we will see it's like the eight Jump that jumped yet uh, in, in technology. Yeah. They, they know it's yeah. coming. They just haven't yeah. figured out how yet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Just like you can say, <laughs> yeah. you know, we can't charge all the cars. We got to start building nuclear power plants. And so he's building like a point. You know, so he's built one that's going to be private. You know, yeah. yeah. privately funded ones. The way to go, a little more. It's yeah. not you know, yeah. five yeah. plus contracts like Wolf's do. Yeah. 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 Yeah, there's cost of ground. The more you spend, longer yeah. it takes the more money you're getting. You know, I'm going to find this time. What is the problem here? You know, exactly. It's a good business model. It's a good guy. I'm not going to have a job. Yeah. For other people? Okay. Take my bird here. Okay. I didn't mind it. It's the very obvious. Okay. <laughs> I'll make sure you might leave it in my wallet. I'll leave it in my wallet. Maybe take it. Three, 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 three,
Trying to take life a little easier. We don't have as much energy as I used to manage now. Yeah, yeah, we're plugging away at that. So I'll typically I come to the office. Uh, It'll go into that and still work fine. Yep. Okay. Um, that it will. Is there an extra one? I think this is, um, I think there was an extra one right here. Yeah, this goes to something. I forget what that goes to. Someday, well, maybe after the meeting. Um, I will leave it here. I don't know if our presenter has a oh, okay. Maybe um, I'll put this in just in case. They'll need a spot to let's just pull this out. Everything going stay on. What's that? It stayed on. Oh, it might be a different. Yeah, right. It's a different. It is action. a different thing, and it, I think that's just a, to hold, yeah. keep it blocked so it doesn't. So, well, I guess what we would have to do is: is anything here optional? Camera's not optional. Microphone's not optional. Yeah, uh, and the speaker, we, we can, that could be optional, but yeah, there's this extra one there. I'll okay, that works. Well, that'll work for sure. Yeah. <laughs> But we might have to take it out if they come over the flash drive. Oh, that's true. So I think I think we have one right here. No, that's small. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I haven't talked to my friend for a while. Okay, well, I just wondered if you were trying to get some wisdom out of her. I used to go hang out in her office and have coffee with her on a weekly basis. And now that she's retired, I just don't see her anymore. Do they don't like to be able to you're not driving anything. Okay. Yeah. So you got it. Hi. 
the guy in the black dress, the lady I saw this morning, we the crowd, we cast the people on the right. A lot more Yeah. All you have to do is you're ending the match. Oh, I see. I just touched him yeah. out. Yeah, okay. So what you need to do is at the end here. Oh, yeah, and that's it. Yeah, yeah. I uh, plugged the... Um, oh, you did? That works? Just, yeah, well, I thought we don't have a powerful... There is a... Well, I don't think we have anything. Oh, no, today. it is off. Uh, okay, we don't. But I uh, just wanted to let you know that, you know, there's an on off search. Oh, okay. It was off, so that's good. Okay. And, um, you know, the only issue is the number of USB ports. If this is in my word, you know, if, so if they bring up, we need to open the tire. Then oh, the okay. Stick out. Okay. And then plug that in. What's this here? It's back. That actually goes for this. Oh, okay. And that That's slides in. Oh, okay. And um, so, okay. We've been missing that in the past. <laughs> Yeah, I 
Again, we're going to start the meeting. Let's get started. Sergeant of Arms. Governor. Good morning, everybody. It's a flight for you today. I fled. It's a good flight. The United States of America. It ends on the nation of the with liberty and justice for all. Oh, wait, that we can turn this on. There we go. First. Second. Fourth. Third. Fifth. Sixth. Bacon. Bacon. Marks. Hands. Go, Mary. Five. Thank you. Now. Gerial Riley, clap. Inspirational comment. 1921. Wow. That was probably the meeting that Lauren first attended. <laughs> and you came to the next one. Yeah. Rotary strength lies in the sincerity of the purpose of its members. That was delivered by Estes Senecar. The president of the Rotary Club of Portland, Oregon, at the Rotary International Convention. Awesome. Um, thank you for that. <laughs> and I don't see any guests out in the audience. We have any guests? I don't see any out there. So I don't have pass it on. Check again. Okay. What's that? No, yeah, these glasses sometimes work. <laughs> So, and I don't know if I missed anybody, but I did check and there, I didn't see any birthdays or spouses' birthdays or anniversaries or rotary anniversaries. Did I miss anybody? Well, we do have a new member. Yes. Okay. okay. Well, let's have it. We have a new member to show up. Awesome. Um, we have a kind of a guy older, so you can see what you can say you can't find him work. Uh, you I'm free <laughs> for that. <laughs> so go on for that. Well, you are free for everything. You're the best keeper. You're fine. Wow. Who's your sponsor? And her sponsor is president of our sponsor. <laughs> yes, he doesn't have to juggle the fire. Hey, you're welcome. Yes. All right. So moving forward here, we have the uh, one thing I want to say is a couple of us are going up to the training tomorrow. Harry and I, and I think Kristen Odegaard and Josie going up there as an exchange student. And I know some of us have some experience. I think Rand has a little experience with exchange students, so that's cool. Welcome for that. And then um, the district conference May fifth and seventh. We got to be thinking about that. That's definitely been a big party and learning a lot of stuff. So that'll be kind of fun. All about Rotary. Imagine what we can do. Let's sit there. Where's that at, Chris? It's crazy. in Surrey, BC. Mm -hmm. So you got to travel over, get a hotel room. Um, where is Jim Hagen? Oh, right over there. <laughs> You know what? What I was really hoping was great open road. That's what I was thinking. What? In water. You thought you missed it. In cell phones. Yeah. 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 Good thing. This will get a badge. You see right? Awesome. So those are some things. Things about that. Also, one. There you go. One other thing is, um, uh, you know, our fun, fun, and the fun applications out there. I think, isn't it? So if we know people that go to the YMCA or food bank and things like that that need help with financing or something like that, we're here to help. So I tell them to go to the website and put an application in for funding. And then it goes to the committee, it's vetted out, and then there's a decision made. So think about that. Let's help okay. the community out. Did somebody say something? I said, okay. <laughs> school district, is the school district qualified? Well, we do give them money. Kind of a roundabout way. Okay. Education Foundation, that's sort of connected, right? Yeah. Amy, did you have anything? <laughs> Just an application. Application and all the uh, company paperwork. Oh, good. Awesome. Okay, great. See, I knew something. 
Awesome. Okay, treasurer's report. Okay, treasurer's report. Uh, we're back on the week for the club, so our club account, everything's getting back to more control there. And uh, hopefully, uh, people will be starting to come up with more money for court can take soon. So I'm going to, we're going to, I guess we're going to talk about that next board meeting, right? Yeah. Um, Green budget. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, thanks to the folks who've already contributed for the scholarship. But, yeah. Uh, we get to use more of that. But we... So, questions. What you do? Are we all done or is there a couple? No, there's about 13 people left to pay dues. How many? About 13. Wow. Okay. Wow. 13 people need to pay dues. Yeah. So, let's work on that. Anything else? Almost everybody here is already paid. Mm -hmm. I think that's it. Thank you, Jax. And now we have the treasurer in the report. I didn't forget. That's the treasurer's report. I mean, <laughs> I got a ride up for two and a half hours. Well, if you're asleep, then wake me up. <laughs> Let me know where the accident I'm going to sleep. You can run. Um, Secretary yeah. reports. Yeah I, may, yeah, I may have to give them direction. But there was somebody that I went with one time gave directions and ended up in another town. Yeah, who was that? I don't know. Um, no. Next board meeting is April 20th at Ryan's office. I will not be there, so Kristen Odegaard will be taking the notes. I will be someplace in the south, likely on my way to uh, from uh, Fort Worth to Dunford. Here's what I found. Okay, so that's what you found. What did you find? Yeah, you found a fine. Yeah, I'm trying to turn my phone down so I don't get fined. The Skyline project is still on for April the 1st. Um, Brian, I talked to Roger this morning and he was going to look for where the decals are. He's going to talk to Scott Patterson. Hagen told me Roger had them. Roger said he wasn't sure if he had them. So that you can uh, come take a look at them before we uh, pick them up. <laughs> That'd be good. That way we know where they are first of all. That way we're not trying to figure it out. Okay. Yeah. So, and I know that um, we're going to have one new, another membership application coming in probably in the next week. Okay. Okay. Now Thanks. we'll bring us uh, to 48. Wow. It's just climbing up there. Nobody can leave. <laughs> All right. So we have President elect Don Iverson. Anything? Um, business is pretty much uh, stored away for now, but um, I wanted to mention that I had an idea for something kind of fun to do, maybe late summer. And uh, I've done this before with group, larger groups, but I uh, have a organized outing, if you will, to one of the larger San Juan Islands uh, for people that like to ride bikes. Um, it, Locos and San Juan are both kind of the better ones, uh, where we would just show up in the morning, hop on the same ferry, and uh, you know, bike riders, great. And I'd want to have at least one truck along in case there's a breakdown. And then, you know, people that just want to go and come in cars, you know, I mean, there, there's no rule against that. But um, <clears throat> I'm just going to throw out the possibility that Lopez Island might be a good first one because it is very flat. It's a very easy bike ride. And it's got three really good kind of mini hikes on the very south end of the island. And uh, uh, they're exceptionally pretty. Uh, Shark Reef is one, Iceberg Point is one, and Watma Bay is one. And so they're like, uh, you know, very easy level walks, you know, that type of thing. Yeah. So be thinking about it. I'm thinking like late uh, August is a good time to go. Um, we can have our exchange students go with great. us uh, who should be here by then, our Norwegian exchange students. So uh, just keep it in the back of your mind, and you know, maybe we'll talk more about dates as we get closer. Just, this is a day event. We might have both Lopez and San Juan have 
have overnight facilities if anybody, anybody wanted to do that. But we've always just done it as a day event. You know, we'd get on the island at 10-ish, um, 10, 10 or 11, and I'm usually catch uh, like a six or seven o'clock ferry. Uh, there's restaurants. Yeah, it makes sense to maybe pack a lunch and then do a restaurant, you know, when we ride and, and um, yeah, just throw it out there. That's always been fun. Yeah, that'd be great. And then over there, and they're friendly. The drivers wave at everybody, just kind of hippie ish. Yeah, you yeah. fit right in. I would, yeah. I'm going dye my hair wrong. Really? <laughs> yeah, no, it's already dyed. <laughs> <laughs> you want to mention a uh, card? Yeah. So, um, Jim Steinrich, a sad note because, uh, you know, he's talked about his family and his daughter's husband and battling cancer and all that. He passed away, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Yeah, he passed away. He called me and talked. He's probably talked to a couple of us in here. Oh, kind of kind of a bummer thing, but I have a, a card here that I'd like, you know, you can sign it. We'll get it to him and all that. So I'll just start it here as a Oh, yeah. They're here. I'm going to spot talking right now. Oh, okay. do you need them? Okay. There's a card there and they pass it on. And our prayers go out to him. It's even as a club and things of this sort. And it's never any fun when that happens. Now we'll move on and then I'll go around and we'll mail it off to him. And I think the funeral may be in April and we'll send some flowers. He and, thought it would be in mid April or something. Yeah. And in, in uh, North Seattle. Okay. I think the other thing is we're going to start ramping up. I don't know. You know, we've got summer projects coming and things like that. So I, I'm moving on to Ron Rasmus and Club Services. Um, so date change. Okay, so our our first Tuesday of the month is now going to move to second Tuesday of the month, just because the they're at an event at the brewery that takes up a lot of room. So it'll be best best if we move back to the second Tuesday of every month. Okay, so if you, if you can get that updated on that, I'm doing that right now. Okay. <laughs> okay. What, when are we doing the skyline playground project? Isn't that coming up in April one? Well, oh, April Fool's Day. Can you believe it? I hope you're there. I hope you're the biggest fool. Time is uh, 7 p.m. Thank you. Maybe you're past your bedtime. <laughs> One other thing is, I think we did zero down the corks and cakes auction date, which is uh, September, 30th. September 30th. September 30th is the date. I think it's the 62nd wedding anniversary. 62nd wedding anniversary? Oh, my God. Oh, except Jeff's stuff. Okay. So, we're going to probably start planning for Aqua Fest and Corks and Cakes coming up here and some meetings and get that done. Do you have a location for Corks and Cakes? What? Do you have a location for Corks and Cakes? Like not yet. We're kind of thinking the creator zone if there's enough room. I was over there yesterday for some other things. Um, it's pretty noisy in that big room. We don't like that. Oh, no, 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 no. What, 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 what? So we got to figure that out. But there's another room that's pretty big over there that's got a low ceiling. Very nice. Perfect. So that's going to be a better spot for the live eye. Yeah. Actually, Chris is uh, yeah. working on the sound issue. Uh, yeah, he definitely has a goal to have make that acoustics spot on. Yeah. yeah. I mean, whether... That's right. cool. Big shells. <clears throat> and cart, did you glue those on the wall? Very good. <laughs> That's one idea. <laughs> Carts are pretty expensive nowadays. <laughs> Non-profit radio stations. Yes. <laughs> so like uh, be prepared to be on a committee to help out. <clears throat> I think Ron's going to be bird dogging that whole thing. So um, that'll be coming up. We want to get started right away. So there's that. <clears throat> and so thanks, Brian. And community services, Brian. Uh, thanks, everybody who came out and helped clean up the roads. Um, and some people like honk and do, give us thumbs up and stuff. So that was really cool. Um, that was great. Uh, April 1st, the Skyline Project. So I'll send out an email this afternoon uh, with sign up for that. 
you know, where you're playing return of pants. <laughs> as long as whoever's using the torch, uh, the for sure. Is fire. Yeah, yeah, don't wear shorts. You won't have any hair in it. Well, that may be good for some people, but not for some of us. So, but yeah, so I'll send out a sign up sheet and then I'll probably even kind of, I'm going to go there if anybody else wants to, that is going to go. I'll send out another email that I'm going to go and again look at the site again. Where are you going? Um, it'll probably be over like, like next week, maybe after school next Friday. You know, obviously after school, the kids are going to um, go over there and just kind of walk around again and just picture it and everything else. And then on Saturday, what time are, are you planning on starting? 8 a.m. 8 a.m. Yeah. Okay. Get there. There's a, another event that evening for Sherwood. So I think people are going to need to cut out to get to do that. So if we can get there and get started. We don't have to finish the whole thing. I think yeah, last time we did it, we did it in two different days. So yeah, we can go back. Probably ought to do a kind of a final decision since it is April, which again almost make with March. <laughs> uh, weather, you know, can be pretty right. Uh, you know, so maybe Wednesday ish, maybe we just yeah, so we'll yeah, we'll just kind of keep an eye on weather, put on the forecast a bit. I think it would we're better off to call it either way, like like you said, by Wednesday, that way we're all prepared or not. Yeah. So yeah, so by the Wednesday before we'll know. No, we're not going to do this week. We're going to push the week. Um, it, it just can't be raining, and it needs to be above forty degrees. So, right, you know, that's the, the thing. So awesome. July fifth. Then. What's that? <laughs> I don't know, man. It's, yeah, who knows? If, it, if we could get a day like yesterday, we'd be set. Okay. Awesome. Thanks, Brian. International Services, Linda. I am here, um, and I was at the meeting last night on Zoom, but uh, let me give the update next week. I'm recovering from pneumonia is why I've been uh, radio silent here the last couple of weeks, so it's okay. hard time speaking. Okay. Thank you for that. And Kyle, membership? I know. Uh, membership too. We just inducted a new member, and sounds like another member that's going to put an application in, so... I think we can get to 50 before the end of the year. Awesome. Thank you, Pat. I'm not leaving until I do. <laughs> 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 Thank you. 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 I'll be closing that survey that I sent out and had plans to go over those results before the next word of the year. So um, we'll see. Once I can actually see a football meeting, we'll see the next few but um, then I can actually explain kind of what the survey results look like um, to the club and kind of what we would like to see moving forward. Uh, so that one, by the time Ron gets in um, as the president here uh, this year, the year after, we can um, kind of move forward from there. So it's all going to be on in disarray for my own year. It's all in the end. You brought the boats. We're going to let you rock the boats. And the next one can be the next So I'm excited. You have to rock the boat. Yeah, it's the only way to do it. Stay on your toes. Change is good. Yeah. Change so, yes, is yes. good. All right. Thanks a lot, Kyle. <laughs> And so vocational services, I think Lance has got the scholarship applications going out there. There is a deadline, and then he's going to be looking for people to interview them um, and screen the matrix for their applications and then have an interview. And I think at the end of May, we have the big you know, rollout for congratulating who we've got scholarships. So that was kind of fun. And then they go over to Ken's house and have the big one in front of the whole school. Yeah, yeah, that'd be cool. No, that's a, it's really awesome. Yeah, and those I just think about those kids who got scholarships last year and how well they're doing now. So it's yeah, it's really a great jump start for their academic careers um, or their their technical educational career. It's really fantastic. So so it's, it's a pretty good deal. I was on that committee for a while. And you read those applications and you almost look at a young person going, "I want to be like that." <laughs> it's like wow. So it's really cool. Okay, uh, with that, let's see. 
So uh, I don't see Chris Martin here. It's Kendra. Kendra, do you have anything for program? Um, actually, just this morning, uh, Tracy from the Bridge Receiving Center, she actually has to, she was going to be next Friday, but she has to reschedule um, till April 21st. And then I was also then able to, um, in her place, I'm going to have a local author who writes some paranormal romance books is going to come speak next week. So that should be interesting. <laughs> yes. Cool. Um, Pretty cool. Uh, supernatural. Yeah, supernatural. Uh, two ghosts uh, in love. <laughs> I think it's uh, a. I think. Casper and Wendy. There yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think she particularly likes um, vampires and werewolves. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, the pre sequel had to be a murder mystery to get two ghosts, right? Yeah. All right. Thanks a lot, Kendra. I know. <laughs> Anything for blood communications, Gary? Okay. Tracy? T.L. Delorum, are you there? I'm here, I'm here, sorry. I, I have nothing to add except um, I did finally finish the uh, that um, the donation request form and Kyle is adding it. I didn't, I joined late, so I didn't hear part of that conversation. So I'm very glad to have that done. And I Good. will be, um, I'll be collecting the applications that we have of which I know of four. Oh, good. I think there's four, or maybe it's three, I'm not sure. Okay. Um, but I'll be sending that out to the uh, committee. And then <clears throat> I need to know the date of the board meeting in May. Okay. Did I hear that second Tuesday now? No, third. Third. Third, 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 Tuesday, third Tuesday in May. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm gonna, if I can, I if I'm I might already be booked that evening, but if I can <clears throat> close my calendar i'm going to try to attend but i can't promise <laughs> that's okay we can always work around your schedule so i think the board would be just as happy to meet on a side night to go through that or your recommendations or whatever okay well we'll we'll i'll figure that out after i get to with the uh, committee okay awesome cool. thank you thanks okay <laughs> so I guess we're down to the surgeon in arms and the policing. Rotary Club. I'm gonna Kyle left some happy bucks here. So I'm gonna put them in here. Bam, and we'll have ourselves a little drawing. Reach. Reach. Brandon, would you mind drawing? Take it. Well, if you draw it early, if you draw it early, that's pretty cool. That would be cool. All right, here we go. Uh, seven five nine. I you didn't win, sorry. Jim. I did. I drew my own. You sound like Wow. You like to be crowded in line. You do good luck. Right. If you get bottom that, okay, so it goes W, you get the whole pot. Okay. But it wasn't. But you got that. So good luck in that book. <laughs> Everybody's aware. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Mr. Sergeant in the arms. Yeah, it's good to see you. Good to see you. Right on. That was a good one. That was a good one. All right, you guys know the drill. Everybody out. Yeah. Shake it out a little bit. Shake her out. Can that make you do? So do the shake. All right, right. Do the shake out. Thank you, baby. All right, you guys ready? I'm gonna do a little bit of yoga. Get us, get us ready. All right. Yogurt. Okay. 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 Take out your wallet, look in there, get things, and then we're just taking money out. 
And for the uh, all right, good job, everybody. Please have a seat. <laughs> okay, this morning we're gonna start off with some fines. I'm feeling a little rough around the edges, a little edgy. So if you had coke this morning, raise your hand. Hey, I did. That'll be a dollar. Okay, good. I love the odds of that. Who has those points? Anything you've got more coke than real. You can find you for wearing that out. Yeah. Well, uh, State University. Equal to my tuition. <laughs> oh, good. It was great having the scholarship. It was L A Y. Hey, Kevin, I have something to say here. So this coat has been in my car for a month, probably, and one time when I left here by myself, this coat appeared on a chair. So does anybody recognize it? Hmm. Very fashionable. It is. Yes. I'll give you one dollar. We're gonna hop in it. I don't know. We got one and I have two. We got two. Two here. Two. I have three. I have three. I got two over here. I have three. Two going once, two going so twice. I feel like I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, if pins and badges, if, uh, if, you, if you don't have a pin or badge, that's a dollar. If you are a first name, Jim Hagen. <laughs> What's a good find? A good find that you should come up with? I could come up with. Maybe somewhere wear a University of Washington hat? Or how about anything more than you go to? Here's a dollar. Well, that's right. You can't put your up. I did. Oh, you did it. Yes. Yeah, so is that a line? Oh, yeah. oh, that makes a college. Working your way around. I think that's. I don't have on that one too. Well, I played on their imperial uh, soccer team with fake ID because I didn't go there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I said, what well, no. So you had to go to UW to make up for no central to make up for WSU. Oh, anybody that you spent coming to Kickers at the Great Road of UW when they were still in high school. Anybody else with Gators? There they go. Bradford. Okay. Anybody else have a fine that they can uh, find that they might be they grievances they come up with? I'm going to increase your fine for you because I walked up to you this morning and said, Morning, Jim. No, no. I get it. I got a fine for everybody. I'm going to find you. I mean, good going. This is the fine Jim. What do you want? <laughs> it's so random. I think that anybody who doesn't have a perfect NC2A uh, men's basketball tournament or women's basketball tournament bracket should pay a fine. Oh, it does okay. <laughs> That's honor. That's on the honor. It's, you know, it's an honor. A perfect one. If you don't have a perfect one. What happens if you don't have a bracket at all? Then you pay five bucks. <laughs> <laughs> My fine was going to be all right. Whoever at UCLA in the bracket and decided that they thought they were going to win last night. And uh, won. It's kind of fine, happy group. All right, so here we go. Let's do happy bucks. And in the spirit of the paranormal romance writer, okay, when you start your happy bucks, you need to tell us. If you had to choose, would you be a vampire or a werewolf? Would you be a vampire or a werewolf? 
Why are we choosing this? I used to be a werewolf. No, <laughs> we want to know a little more about you. Would you be a vampire or a werewolf? Let that simmer in for a second. That's going to get to know us better, I guess. <laughs> Wait. Wait, I have a better question. It should really be, would you want to fall in love with a vampire or a werewolf? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Would you want to fall in love with a vampire or werewolf? Kendra, nice, we done. All right, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna give you a little, or Kendra, do you want to start, please? I would definitely want to fall in love more with a vampire. <laughs> I mean, my husband's hairy enough. I don't need a werewolf in my life. I like it. But, <laughs> what? Yeah, I said I like it. Well done. <laughs> Did Shane hear that? <laughs> cool. no, yeah, he's, he's, he's asleep upstairs. <laughs> you want to be happy about? Um, yes. Yeah, actually, uh, it's my friend's 40th birthday. So we're going out tomorrow to like some dueling pianos in Seattle. So. That'd be fun. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. Larry, would you rather fall in love with a vampire or a werewolf? Well, whichever one would would help with an intervention with my granddaughter who picked WSU to, to go to school next year. All right. On the plus side, they're they're paying her enough money, it's almost a full ride. Oh, that's cool. Well, at least she didn't become a duck like you. Um, what no, that would have been perfect. Now she went to University of Arizona to check them out, and and the the whole campus is downtown and smells like homeless people. So she didn't care for that one. Hmm. The homeless can't find Wazoo, so she thought that was great. Good stuff. But, but I'll I'll, I'll uh, zoom. Okay. I mean, I'll Venmo some money. Good on you. Thank you. Sure. Linda, Linda how you doing? Vampire werewolf, werewolf. Oh, that's a rough one because I think they're both night owls and I'm out. So uh, I don't know. <laughs> um, as far as happy bucks, though, I'm just happy that uh, the doctors exist and medication. I'm on the mend. Good on you. Thank you. Good on you. Tracy, how are you? Vampire werewolf. Oh, oh, come on. I'm a dentist. Which one do you think? Where, vampire, of course. <laughs> do, do vampires get gingivitis? <laughs> yes, they have to work extra special to keep things clean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Yeah. And you look happy this morning. Well, thank you. Yes, I'm down visiting my dad and stepmom. And I have a really fabulous meal planned. I'm gonna braise some short ribs and I'm gonna make parsnip, parsnip mash. Have you ever had that? It's delicious. That sounds great. Yeah, yummy. <laughs> cool. And then Sam, how you doing? <clears throat> I'm doing well, I'm a vampire. Nice, nice. I, uh, I was home last night, but um. On my way back down south right now, headed uh, to the TIB meeting in South Center, and then we're on the floor at 1.30 voting today. So busy times, but I can't wait till uh, the next four weeks are done and I can be back in person. Nice. Good. Good to hear your voice. If things are going well. Yeah, things are going well. I appreciate those who have emailed and come down and visit. It's been nice to see familiar faces in the uh, land of taxation <laughs> good good stuff good stuff anything else no i'm good all right take care all right and then did I, I think i got everybody in tv land joyce vampire werewolf i really don't like either one of them so do I have to wear it? No. So you can, can do whatever you want. Okay. You're in charge. Yeah. I guess if I had to choose, I have a vampire. Okay. Okay. And I'm happy to be here as usual. Everything else is wonderful. Good. Good to see you. Scott, vampire. Well, well, I guess if you get bit by a vampire, you live forever. I don't know if that's a good thing. 
<laughs> by the way, I feel this morning. Um, and then, of course, I'm happy because uh, baseball starting up and spring trainings next week. And so that means it's spring, even though it might snow this weekend. Yeah. I mean, spring. Spring, spring. yeah. I, we're all ready for it. Yeah. Good stuff. Anthony, vampire werewolf. I'm going to go with Scott's answer. I don't know if it's a good thing to live forever, but I might as well give it a shot. <laughs> uh, happy to be here um i just wanted to say thank you to all the rotary club i went to the board meeting to kind of present for the food bank teaching kitchen um i do want to invite everybody i i'm thinking on the seventh after rotary meeting um to come and see the building and for it see the kitchen oh cool um that's a loose date just because drywall is going up right now and that's like the worst time to be in the building when they're saving all of that um but it's again weeks, so right? what that that's two weeks from today you're thinking. yeah two weeks from today so i'll have a more solid answer probably next week um but yeah thank you guys so much for the support it means a lot <clears throat> and how much should we end up uh that's a jack question well yeah the, <laughs> approximately. the grant the grant and the, the matching part we did we're going to be giving about I guess about 17,000 roughly for supplies for the kitchen. And then we have about another 35,000 we've had slated for a long time to give them, which we have. We're, we, we're planning on giving that to them too. Eventually it'll be 52 then. Yeah. yeah, it'll be 52. And probably, obviously, by next year, hopefully we can raise some more. So. And Gary was recollecting um, that we started by putting 15,000 away in my term as president. And that was in what 2009, you know. So yeah, so when you were we, we, we not in the bank account for a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. It's been there a long time. And we've not been yeah. giving yeah. us the interest in the free to spend our money for ten thousand. Yeah, probably would have been better. I will give 12 happy dollars for my 12 hours of cycling on Tuesday for the Everett YMCA. Nice. We also have to the paper for that. Never mind. <laughs> Good, Good job. job. No, you, you actually have to bring a copy of it in for the plane. Yeah, yeah that's, that's true. true. That's true. It's all this. Got me off the hook. Yeah. Um, and there were also 12 people from here that donated. So Rochelle, Brett, Jim, Kendra, Lance, Ron, Randall. Um, Lori, Chris Smith, Chris Jacobson, and myself. So that's really fun. Um, the Everett, the Snohomish County YMCA goal is $2.1 million, and we're 88% there, and we have a few weeks left. So there is still time to donate. Um, I think the YMCA is so amazing. It's been around for over 100 years, and 100% of your money goes to the YMCA. So they do such a brilliant job of really making that impact in the in the communities it's just such a trustworthy organization um that's made a big impact in my life so i appreciate all of your guys' support um and i will leave some room for chris jacobson in the week because he was a huge player this year um on the bike to cite us for four hours working his tail off for his um personal cause it's some space there so there's my 12 happy bucks excellent vampire Oh, so I was thinking blood and vampire, and I would, I don't, I mean, I would take people's blood and give it to all the mamas that are hemorrhaging. I just went all the way there. Sounds good. All right. Can vampire or well, yeah, vampire, because uh, you can be a vampire every evening. Right, I can only be a werewolf when, when the moon is small, right? And so, I mean, in, in, for the purposes of love, you know, once a month, that's just not going to cut it. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, five dollars happy life. Good, good, good. So, uh, Spring break next week. We're going to um, my sister in law's 50th birthday party in um, Sonoma, uh, where she lives. Um, that'll be fun. And um, uh, then um, 
my brother is here in town visiting from Boise. So we're going to go out to dinner tonight and have some fun. So cool. it's great. Good family time. Good to see you. Good to see you. How are you doing over here? Oh, very good. Vampires? Vampire vampires. I don't think I'd ever get bit. I've always wanted to be that creepy old guy with a mm. young, young lady, right? Hey, I'm age. I'm age. It's getting good with that. <laughs> All right, so a couple things. But just Amy uh, mentioned the YMCA. So March 22nd marks my 52nd birthday, which also marks the day I was discharged from the hospital after five days of fighting sepsis and began my my journey to recovery, which has been up and down, but much healthier. So I feel very thankful for that. So I rode 52 miles, which took four hours. So I never had a seat violate me in four hours. But so here's my $12 for Amy and her 12 hours. Two things. Don't forget the Sherwood uh, Gala that's coming up April 1st. Great organization, great cause. And then we have, the Food Bank has our little appreciation uh, dinner activity appetizer thing tonight. And I know a lot of you might not be there. So ask Anthony, Anthony to pull a couple stats just so you get to understand the impact and the reason why this building needs to be built. And when it finally gets done, we will have a permanent location. And we are the only food bank in this Snohomish County that does not have a permanent home. So think about that. One of the fastest growing cities. And we work out of five churches, right? Yeah. So uh, it was originally started in 1978 in Ebenezer Lutheran Church with an attempt to just feed a few people a month. Um, March 25th, 1983 marked the day that it became an actual 501c3, the Lake Stevens Community Food Bank. To give you an idea, 40 years later, so at the end of the fiscal or annual year of 2022, the food bank served almost a million pounds of food uh, to 48,764 <laughs> individuals impacting 16,110 families one year, right? The volunteer hours given to run this food bank was 10,697. That's basically nine full-time employees. And the food bank is run by Anthony and Georgia. So the community keeps this food bank going and the food bank needs the community and then vice versa, right? So just, I wanted to get that impact because that, it's amazing to think a million pounds to ensure food is important. Mm -hmm. cool. Anyways, that's it. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Happy day. Good stuff. Well, yeah. Brian, vampire, werewolf. I would say werewolf because there's no way I want my wife running around sucking people's blood. So come back with hepatitis or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> so werewolf, uh, the only thing is you got to then smell dog all the time. But so whatever. <laughs> um, but uh, I'll do a, a yeah, hack of five. Yeah. Well, so last week I was I was on Saturday. I was so excited that we had the number of people show up to help with the street cleanup, and it literally reaffirmed why I joined this club. Is to not just for us all to give money because that's no offense, that's pretty easy to do. We can all just donate a couple bucks, but to actually get out and make it make a difference within and people see us out doing something, and that's what our club will do. We fulfilled two of the four of the four week test Saturday. So that excites me. Makes me very happy to join. So thanks for doing it. Very cool. Jack, how are you? All right. Well, I would do werewolf. Most of the love the outdoors, I cannot imagine having paid taxes for her. That would be <laughs> <laughs> Um, other than the wish, wishful thinking for another three weeks to go by without any major incidents would be nice. Right there with you. In the green Brand, how are you? Good, vampire. Just because I haven't heard any pleas. That's a good call. Okay, what's that? Yeah, can you hear me? Get the keys to our house on Tuesday so I won't have to drive from Linwood to this meeting anymore. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm looking forward to moving out. Okay, vampire, well, I've been going back and forth and hearing everybody else's choices, and my wife would definitely be a vampire because she's a total nine hour as well. Um, but I don't care either way. So glad to help out Brian on Saturday and thank you for having me. Uh, good job.
Laura, what do you think? Vampire, werewolf, werewolf, and but actually, I went to John Sagan, and so I'm a bulldog. Hey, you want to know what I'm going to say? Okay, well, anyhow, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. Well, anyhow, Mark, uh, you know, I, you can see by my ear that they, they had to do some cutting on it this week. And they're going to take the stitches out later on this morning. And I'll be happy if I still have a whole ear. What'd you say? <laughs> Thank you. Good stuff. Joelle, welcome to the club. Thank you. Thank you. Happy to be here. Uh, happy you let me come donate all the time that I don't actually have. <laughs> uh, those are my hundred dollars. A vampire werewolf. Mm -hmm. That's my vampire. Okay. Oh, hey, I got another dollar. Hey. Oh. <laughs> like what you, what you, you know, where you're going with that. Well, the, the Tesla got me to Rotary this morning. <laughs> Again? And it's, you know, it's an amazing car. So, <laughs> you know, like that. I love that. Pretty amazing. Uh, vampire, um, werewolf, vampire. Uh, my my wife dressed up as a vampire by, for Halloween five years ago, and I never forget that. Um, <laughs> and, uh, for for happy bucks, uh, I got uh, I got one for um, the fact that my neighbor and I finished the gate between my backyard and this pickleball court, so I'm pretty happy about that. And then also, uh, I gave one yesterday, Yay. and they wanted to date me right away for my next visit. I said, nope, I'm going to wait until you guys come to Lake Stevens. <laughs> so we need to get that on this schedule. It's right. August. You got it. I know, that's a long time. Right now, I'm going to be there. Thank you. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. So, Mr. President, yeah. Yeah. vampire, werewolf? Yeah. yeah, I think of a vampire in wolf's clothing. <laughs> So yeah, I'm kind of happy. I'm going up to Canada tomorrow with Gary and a couple others and getting some more education and things of that sort. So it's going to be kind of fun. And um, so other than that, yeah, pretty good. A little sad. I had to put my dog down on Saturday night, but uh, yeah, he was a great dog, 14 years. So you know, yeah, uh, yeah. All right, we'll have to go have great trips. Yeah. This is the thing on the The Twilight fans, Team Jacob or Team Edward. You know, so, but I like sunshine too much, so I don't like it more than the sun. And I'm just happy it's spring. It's getting springtime. And brother's getting nice. Amelia, how are you? Good. Yeah. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. 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 It's a kind of exciting watching the food bank go up. Uh, now, especially now that I'm on the board and watching Anthony and the uh, staff. I remember Scott and I having the and the board having a discussion of the fifteen thousand dollars a long time ago, and now it's almost ready to pop out and um, be something for the community to behold. And it will be more than just a food bank, it will be somewhat of a community center, more than just a food bank. So it's got a lot of a lot of things going for it. And let's see, I think that's it. Did I miss anybody? I think so. A couple of happy bucks here. Um, happy to see all of you. I go with Irish Vampire as well. <laughs> and uh, spring is on its way. Good job, everybody. Awesome. Thanks, Kevin. Thank you. So now we have our program. So 
Um, I hope that's enough time for you. Oh, it's plenty. <laughs> <laughs> so good, good, good. We had Rand Southam, a, a new member that transferred over here, and he's going to kind of do a classification and tell us a little bit about himself. Thanks. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. I'll start with the painfully obvious. I like Gilman's beer. <laughs> I did. I was born in Denver. I moved to uh, Washington State when I was one year old. Any questions? <laughs> is there going to be a quiz later? <laughs> I was, I'm a Richland bomber, if anybody knows what that is. Oh, yeah. I grew up in Richland. I was part of the Manhattan Project. Probably the only high school in the nation that has a nuclear mushroom cloud in the past. <laughs> true story. It is a truth. It's not about violence. It's about the uh, my ancestors who gave so much during that period of time to end something that was terrible that was going on. So it's not about a war, war, it's about what we all did as a nation to come together during that time. Anybody know where the first indoor shopping mall in the country was? Here in North Seattle. Yeah, North Seattle. Northgate. <laughs> yeah. That's where I met my wife 40 years ago. We worked for Jerry Keenan. Anybody know Jerry Keenan is? Jerry Keenan started Red Robin. Wow. So we were, Jerry started the first Red Robin down in the U District. We, my wife and I both worked for him and he was on about his eighth door before he went public. Uh, actually, he didn't go public. He sold it to the Japanese who took it public and then he bought it back. And anyway, Jerry today just owns Salty's restaurant. If you're familiar with that on West Yale, or he's still in the business. Yum. Uh, yum. You would see the sunset, <laughs> salties. Yeah. Now at the airport too. Oh, I tried to use it at the airport. I saw that. Yeah. Um, so my wife and I married in 1986. We had a son, Joshua, in 1988. Uh, we adopted one of my son's very close friends. We had he had a friend about nine years old. His friend kept spending the night at our house. <laughs> and we didn't really put two and two together. But after a while, we learned a little bit more and found out that he was really. He had uh, parents who had separated. His dad was down in the southeast somewhere. His mom had drug problems and that type of thing. So about, about the time he turned 11, he became our second son. So we're a rainbow family. I'm white. My wife is Chinese. My first son is a mix between the two of us, and my adopted son is black. So it's great when we go out in public and, and I introduce my son is my son. I always see people thinking about, okay, <laughs> How did this happen? Right. Was I married to a black woman? Was my wife married to a black man? Just how did this happen? Anyway, we have a lot of fun with it. There's no racial tensions in our house. We've always made fun of each other. Over it. So uh, that's just the kind of people we are. I uh, started my first business right after my son was born in 1988 and uh, did pretty well with it. Uh, I didn't get to go to college. My dad asked me to leave the house when I was 16, either because he was a jerk or I was a jerk. Okay. <laughs> uh, so I left the house at 16 and uh, just kind of went out on my own and made my own way. I was lucky enough, though, that I got hired at about 21 by Xerox. And Xerox gave me sales training. <clears throat> and Xerox doesn't hire people that didn't go to college. So it was just a real stroke of luck. I must have done well in the interview. <laughs> yes. But I think it happened. Anyway, that gave me sales training. Uh, I consider Red Robin sales training too. As a waiter, I need more tips if I can get you to buy more. So I was the kind of waiter who was always talking about dessert before we ever got to dinner, right? But I knew the more I could get you to spend, the more money I was going to make. That increased the beer fund at the end of the ship. <laughs> so uh, I think that, that that hospitality and sales really went together. Uh, around 2000 or so, after Y2K, where we had a very successful running business, we didn't uh, handle computer code, we handled chips. My company handled chips. So there was embedded day codes in everything from HVAC systems to fire trucks, right? So we did probably 20 fire departments on the West Coast, police departments, airports, ripped all the lighting out of LAX, installed it at John Wayne, put a new system in at LAX. It was a completely different business. And I was just the guy that kind of was the business leader. I was, I'm not an engineer at all. Uh, after Y2K ended, I got in bed with Microsoft. We built a Microsoft CRM business that had a marketing wing, uh, which was a very successful business. I sold that business in 2011 at a two year earnout period. In 2013, I started spending money on things I left, like cameras and stuff. And my wife came to me and said, You're not going to spend your fortune on cameras, buddy. <laughs> so I said, Well, 
maybe I'll start a business where I can buy cameras. And that's what I did. I think it only lasts a couple of years and I have to have a nice inventory of cameras. Well, nowadays I never touch a camera because I own a half million dollars for the cameras and they just bore me. And um, the business has actually become quite successful, which was really not the intent of the business. It's nice to see Sam Lowe this morning, or at least it's the name. We filmed a video with Sam in 2018 for the city of Monroe in Snohomish County when we were trying to do a project to widen 522 between Malton and Monroe. So my company is called Digital Face Media. What that means is when somebody finds you online, they search you up and they find you online, they haven't talked to you, they don't know you, they've never been in your brick and mortar. Everything they think about you, they're seeing on that screen, that is your digital face. So we help companies and governments put on a digital face. So let me talk about like a government campaign. What does that look like? City of Marysville needs a new city hall and a new jail. They haven't had one since 1986. <laughs> the year I got married, okay? So they haven't had one for a long time, but they can't go to the citizens and ask them to vote for that. That's not kosher. But they can hire a company like ours to build a campaign where we educate the public, where you come to your own natural conclusion that I should vote for that jail. Or that, you know, that, you know, it's only the second jail in the county. If you really want to walk out of vendors, you better have a place to put them. Okay. Finish 522 is another example. Uh, terribly dangerous state stretch of roadway between Monroe and Maltby. As a matter of fact, when we were out there filming one day, there was a horrible head on crash that happened while we were filming. It's really a terrible piece of roadway. We ran a campaign, Sam was part of the campaign. Uh, we got it funded, and then COVID happened, and all the funding got pushed back. So I was just in a meeting yesterday with Snohomish County to boot that up and get the legislature to refocus that funding on, because if it's a three-mile stretch of road, it's a terrible stretch of road. Mm -hmm. So we do the same thing in, in the corporate world, uh, we help people tell their story. Uh, our business took a major change in 2019 when in Road Creek, we did a joint district conference with District 5030 and 5080. It was in Spokane. I was just asked to help with some marketing. By the time we did the show, my team ran the entire show. Just we got sucked into it, right? Bill Gates was our keynote speaker, so it was kind of a big deal. Uh, big, big district conference, about 1,500 people. We did so well at producing that show that right like that day, we won two more gigs. And now about 20%, 30% of our business is in event production. So right now we're working on, on Melbourne which is the Rotary International Conference. Uh, we've got probably five more either district conferences. We do zone institutes. You know what a zone institute is? We're in zone 26-7. That makes up all the Rotary clubs in the Western United States. All those district governors that come in, about 600 of them, we put on what's called the Rotary Institute uh, once a year in November. A couple of years ago, it was Tucson. Last year, Salt Lake City. This year, it's San Diego. Next year, it's in Spokane. And so we just, we produce shows. We're not an AV company, we do the production. So we, we believe in engaging, inspiring, and motivating audiences. So we produce content and run a show that achieves those results. When you leave a district conference of ours or something like that, we want you to be feeling like, God, I'm so glad I came to that. That was awesome, right? And then we help, uh, we always help our Rotary Club with fundraisers. And I'm sure that all <laughs> conversation usually around the ask video you know how do we want to motivate people to open their wallets and that kind of thing lived in shoreline for 20 years lived in briar for the last 19 years so we just bought a house in lake Stephen, but you know get the keys on tuesday so we're finally members of the community out here and I got one minute left. Any questions? Dang, that's good. Are you going to start? Feels fired. Feels fired. So it's great to meet all of you and be with you. I'll never forget you, Amy, and the tutu, or you, Kim, and uh, and Kill. It was a great introduction last week, and uh, I look forward to working with all of you and becoming friends. Oh, we have had three Rotary Exchange students. I mean, I'm going to say that. Okay, so our first one came from Germany. Our second one came from Germany. Our third one came from Italy. And unlike how the program is supposed to work, where you're only supposed to have them for three months, all three of my Rotary Exchange students stayed with us the entire year. If you have not had an exchange student, you should. It's a life changing, wonderful experience with very courageous kids who, at 16, 17 years old, pick up and leave their families, their friends, and everything, and they just venture off and they arrive here. And they don't speak very good English when they arrive, but what it's taught me doesn't matter where you are, all teenagers are the same. 
right? They're all dumb. <laughs> they all have terrible senses of humor, which rubs off on me. I'll never tell you a joke because all the jokes on them were terribly inappropriate. So we'll never go there. In 2018, right before the pandemic, my wife and I took five weeks off. We flew to Oslo, then we took a ferry to Germany, spent time with our first exchange student in northern Germany, took a train to South Germany, spent time with his family, took the same train all the way down to Budapest, Italy, and spent like three weeks there. And I mean, these people are all part of our family. And so if you haven't said yes to being grown with each family, you should. And even if you're not, ask the kids to go do things with you. Yeah. Take them on vacation with you, take them to the game with you, that kind of thing. Yeah. Great experience. Yeah. And so you you have exchange students in this class. Well, they're coming, coming, coming this year. Coming this year, school year coming up, we're going to have them. Oh, they're so fun. And they make the meetings so much fun. And they get to skip school to come to the meeting, which is a real highlight for the other. Yeah, okay. And they get to go to the different yeah. conferences. They go to the district conferences. Yeah, there's a lot of time. Yeah, yeah, great experience. So now I'm over. I apologize. <laughs> I can actually get fined on our call. Well, no, actually, Chris gets the fine. He's the meeting. Uh, he can stop. Yeah. Thank you. We're supposed to stand up. Thanks for being here. It's great. You're great. Awesome. So, does anybody have anything for the go home? All right, seeing none. We need to adjourn. Thank you for being here. <laughs> <laughs>